First of all, they shouldn't be handling it at all unless they are properly contracted with the client. And I'm talking about their clients, clients and prospect data, which is, is governed in one work stream, if you like, which is quite different from as a marketing agency handling your own prospect and client data. So what we see is most marketing businesses have got a handle on having a data privacy policy and a certain degree of marketing security of data when it comes to their own business they've got much less handle on what's going on when it comes to doing that and being let into the client's business and there are areas that are problems across the two but starting with the client's business if you have got european data subjects or uk data subjects and by the way there are, there are an awful lot of countries in the world that have data privacy regulations it's not just europe and the uk but sticking with those jurisdictions, it is simply not lawful for you to even look at that data on the screen unless you are properly contracted for data privacy and confidentiality and that your client, and this is where the problem is because clients don't know how to do this, has given you a written set of what's called data processing um, instructions. You shouldn't be touching it. Now, what we find, because we write contracts with digital marketing agencies to give to their clients, is that the majority of clients don't know they should be doing that. Therefore, they're not doing it. And if you do tell them they should be doing that, they don't know how. And they don't want the friction of having to figure that out. So they'll go and work with what I frankly regard as a rogue agency who don't care about that because it's easier. So one of our great missions is to get digital marketing agencies to be fluent enough about what needs to be done to make it easy for the client rather than difficult. You'll always get a subset of clients, by the way, who don't care about data privacy, but they are quite likely to be clients who have data breaches. And the problem is if they do, the first thing that will happen is an audit of who did what. And if you're not properly contracted and not acting securely, even though the breach may be nothing to do with you, you're going to be in trouble because you were doing something wrong. A bit like if you drive with dodgy tyres and then you have a drink and then they breathalyze you, the tyres might have caused the problem, but you'll get done for drink driving. Just because you didn't cause the problem by doing what you were doing doesn't mean you haven't got one because of what you did. So most people don't get that, and therefore it gets wrong from the get-go. Most uh, agency problems are about going into client systems. Now, in theory, the very essence of GDPR from a data handling point of view is trackability, who's done what, accountability, if you like. And the things that clients like to do is to share their own logins so that you go into, for example, their active campaign or MailChimp or whatever, as them. But if something goes wrong, if the database is corrupted, deleted, um, you know, stolen, there's no audit trail of who did what because you're all together as a collective. So that's a very bad thing. Clients should really be, be having systems that give you traceable, trackable entry. And of course, as, as a, a marketer, if you've got your own team, each individual should have their own login. And of course, if there's no transparency between you and the end client that you are subcontracting, if that's what you're doing, you sneakily share your logons, you've got the same problem if something goes wrong. So it's putting an end slowly to the secret outsourcer. 